thyroid hum gland is a small gland located in front of our neck it produces thyroxin and t3 they control metabolism of our body today's video is very important about hypothyroid and hyperthyroid and some breathing practices which can be helpful in the health of thyroid so be with me till the end and i will explain at the end some breathing patterns so coming to the topic let's start with thyroid gland my name is dr abdul basit malik and today i'm discussing thyroid gland its hormones and the problems which are associated with the decreased functioning of the thyroid gland thyroid gland is a glandular tissue located in front of the neck it's a butterfly shaped gland located in the middle of the neck under the apples adam and in the normal working condition it produces two different hormones one is called thyroxine or t4 and the other is called t3 t4 is the one which is floating inside the blood and it is converted into t3 inside the liver where with the impacts of some enzymes it is converted into t3 while after its conversion into t3 this hormone goes to all the cells of the body and there are receptors of this hormones in each and every cell no matter the cell is a muscular cell it is a neuron it's a liver cell it's a kidney cell it is a bone cell whatever the cells we have it's a fat cells all the cells have receptors for this hormone and these receptors they are located in the nucleus and from where it generates dna and regulates the metabolism of the cell and the metabolism of the body and when there is decrease in the amount of this hormone which can be due to various reasons uh, the reasons they can be within the body and they can be outside the body but one thing to be important is that iodine is a major component of this hormone so if there are reasons that the iodine consumption is decreased in the body it will be definitely ending up with a hypothyroid that means a decrease in the amount of thyroid hormone now the hypothyroid will be presenting with different symptoms in our body because the amount of thyroid hormone is decreased so all different metabolic functions of the body will be decreased and commonly you will observe lethargy fatigue tiredness disinterest in your daily routine for all the normal functions of the day like cooking going to your job going to school you will feel tired you will feel lethargic exhausted no stamina sexual drive will be decreased sexual desires will be decreased and ultimately uh, the body temperature will also decrease and one will start putting weight on gaining weight on similarly when this happens to 
the early age, the younger ages, there will be developmental problems. There will be a late puberty, growth will be delayed, and the kids will not attain a normal size of the body. They will not be having a normal height. They will be dwarfed. They will be lesser in height. And uh, also, there are some other signs and symptoms that thyroid issue will have. So, for example, the nails. The nails will be brittle. They will be, they will be brittle in their appearance. There will be ridges on them. They will be rough. And uh, there will be some kind of white spots on them, maybe. A brittle nails and then there will be constipation generally it will be hard to poop out the skin texture will be dry generally a dryness will be present all over the skin and uh, the heart rate will go down when it is hypothyroid the heart rate will go down when it is hyperthyroid the heart rate will go up so fatigue, slow heart rate, weight gain, dry skin, dry hair, which will be easily falling out, and lethargy. They are very common. In, in children, there will be dwarfism, there will be slow growth. Also, in women, there will be irregular uterine bleeding so there will be irregular uterine bleeding of unknown cause disturbed uterine bleeding the cause will be unknown so now why it is happening this is happening because the body is not making enough amount of the thyroid hormones what we need how we can check it the laboratory tests which are recommended, they are called thyroid function tests, and they mainly include three things to be checked. One is TSH, the thyroid stimulating hormone. This is the hormone coming from the pituitary gland, that is the gland lying inside our skull, inside the brain, at the base of brain. And it produces a hormone which is called thyroid stimulating hormone. It impacts on the thyroid gland and they produce thyroxine or T4, which is then transformed into T3. So if there is any distur disturbance at the pituitary level, for example, with the Hashimoto's disease, then it will end up with a lowering of thyroid function and the thyroid function will be decreased or the amount of thyroxine produced will be decreased and remember endocrinologists are the people who are specialized uh, in this uh, in the treatment of thyroid hypothyroid hyperthyroid and other endocrine disorders so Whenever you need to discuss your problems, you should try to engage with them. But as a common thing, I will say that the iodine levels must be observed and the intake of iodine in shape of some addition uh, in, in food must be, um, must be watched. Generally, in the United States, since 1930s, they have been adding iodine into the table salt. So the incidence of goiter and other thyroid issues have been decreased in the United States. But in the rest of the world, it is still not very good. And people all around the world, they are suffering from the hypothyroid, about 4 to 7%. With an average of 5% people, they are suffering from hypothyroid. So, today's video, I will end up with some breathing techniques, which are very important in regulation of thyroid. So, you have to sit 
in the chair in a comfortable position and hold your fingers like this it's a kind of yoga you can say and i will today tell about four exercises which are useful for that the first one is have a deep breath in and then bring your chin down like this to your chest so that to lock the breath in hold the breath and then release so let's do with me breathe in again a deep breath in hold bring the chin down for some time hold it and then release do this exercise for at least two to five minutes once in a day and the next exercise is that you have to gradually breathe in but forcefully breathe out so that you are moving your belly in to push the air out so in this case you will same you can sit on the ground you can sit in a chair hold your hands like this and then gradually breathe in like normal but breathe out should be forceful like this You don't need to put a long deep breath breathe slowly like a normal breath and breathe out forcefully so put a lot of pressure on your abdomen and this way you can forcefully breathe out this is another exercise and this should be done for three to four minutes then the third exercise i will say this is very important and this is to produce a humming sound a sound from your throat so the sound you are producing uh, at the level of your sound box that is near the apple's atom this will stimulate vibrate thyroid thyroid gland and it will regulate its function so Let's do it. Again. There is no need of holding the sound are exhaling forcefully you are just producing humming sound then the last exercise that is you have to breathe from one nose and breathe out from the other like this hold breathe in from right side then hold your nose to hold the breath in then exhale from the left then breathe in from the left hold the nose and exhale from the right right hold then left inhale from right hold exhale from left then inhale from left hold and exhale from right this is the fourth exercise so do these four exercises once in a day and you will see a definite change within three to four months in all your lab values and in your general health thank you very much if you like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell button on and tell your friends thank you